so it's time for January favourites and as always I have beauty, style, I also have a couple of book favourites for you this month as well and before we get started if you haven't signed up to my newsletter please sign up to my newsletter, I absolutely love writing it every month, I'll pop the little link down below where you can go and sign up. The January edition will be dropping next Monday because it is always the first Monday of the month and I always love your replies to it and I love your feedback and I like putting them together so if you want more content that is definitely the way to go but let's get started with the good stuff let's get started with beauty the minute that i started using this product i knew that it would be in my january favorites video because i've loved it now for well over a month i got this back in december and i got this because of alana you will see that i picked this up in the black friday haul video that we put up on her channel and it is the smashbox photo finish primerizer primer and moisturizer in one. She goes on about it, she's gone through multiple bottles and it just, everything that she says is absolutely right. I'm not like crazy about primers, I don't necessarily use them every day, but this one I have used every single time when I sit down at my vanity, when I go to put on makeup, I put this on because sometimes I might have moisturized and put my SPF on maybe like an hour earlier, two hours earlier, three hours earlier. This is a really good way of getting that final zap of hydration and moisture before you go in with your base. I do feel that if you had slightly oilier skin, you would perhaps just be able to use this as a moisturizer and be quite happy with it. As someone who has quite dehydrated dry skin, I like, I double layer, I throw this over the top of an SPF moisturizer. But yeah, I really, really like it. I feel like it makes my skin look glowy, radiant, plump, juicy, all those good adjectives. And it's just a nice product to use. It was instantly like straight in the drawer. This is definitely an everyday product. This is something that I'm going to repurchase. So if you're in the market for a primer and want something that is hydrating, then this might be a good one to check out. There's actually only one other makeup product this month. The rest are other beauty bits. Um, but this, the NARS Wanted palette, for some reason I kept on thinking it was called Unwanted and I've been like typing out the NARS Unwanted palette, which would make no sense, like no marketing sense at all. It's beautiful, it's £55, it's now available from Space and K and like other places you can get it online. And I wrote a review about it, if you want to read that I'll link it down below for you. It's just a really nice palette, a very pricey palette, but as I mentioned in my review I feel like it does offer something different. I'll bring it close so you can see. It's got a mix of mattes and shimmers and glitters and obviously this is what I've got on my lids today. I've really been enjoying these two. However, I also like this one. This is just a shimmery sort of ready color. This is what I was wearing in the home renovation video that I put up last week. Thanks for all the love on that video, by the way. I am definitely doing a part two when we've finished our bathroom and hallway, which should be very soon. I also love this one. It really reminds me to a color that I do called Nepal. Um, but it's just a kind of MAC all the glitter shade. But the shades that are really different and what I think makes the palette worth it in my eyes are these like glitters like here, this goldy glitter, this pink glitter. Those types of formulas are ones that you normally find in like the Tom Ford palettes, the Charlotte Tilbury palettes, and they are pricey. They're a very compressed, shimmery pigment. I wouldn't apply them with a brush, but if you apply them with a finger and just dab them on top, it's much like, um, Alana talks about it as well, the Dior Meteorite that she recommended that I buy, and I did, and I just love how I can apply that on top and it just takes a very simple matte look or even like a naked lid, it just adds something to it, makes it look a little bit wet, and those are what these shades do. So I feel like those are the shades that make it worth the money. The mattes are nice, the shimmers are nice, but these like pressed glitters, they're not something that I'm going to wear every single day, but I'm happy to have them in my collection and sort of glam up very dull and boring looks like I normally do. But I've been using it every day, it's been the only eyeshadow palette that I've used for the whole of January. Very impressed. I'll quickly touch on skincare and you will see these in next week's video. Next week's video is going to be a cult beauty and space NK haul and also an empties video like all wrapped into one and you will see that I picked up a repurchase of these from cult beauty I think it was. Yeah cult beauty. I love them. They're from Pixie. They are the glow peel pads. It's basically their glow tonic formula but just in little pads. I have got the glow tonic, I use that as well, but obviously this month we've been having renovations going on in the bathroom, and it's just been a bit of a faff to do my skincare routine 
full stop. I've been having to do my skincare routine in the kitchen. And some nights I just can't be asked to do it at all. And I've just been rolling into bed and telling Mark, please don't tell Caroline I've gone to bed with my makeup on. Because it, it's just been a, such a faff. So actually having them pre-soaked in this pad, ready to go, makes it so convenient, has definitely made it convenient this month. And I'm kind of coming to the end of that pack and I just don't want to run out. I feel like these actually do make my skin look more glowy. I just use one pad a day in the evening after cleansing pre-serum. And yeah, I just feel like I look more radiant and it just helps to really get rid of any dullness and dryness that I've got on my skin. And also, again, with the whole bathroom fiasco, I haven't been able to like do a detoxifying mask and do all these nice skincare treatments to my face, which would normally get rid of the dull skin, you know, really help with exfoliation. So just having this to kind of give me a nudge every day has definitely helped my skin to continue to look semi-okay whilst we're having the old bathroom done. Two other products that you will see in that haul are from Sam McKnight. And I was very kindly sent the Cool Girl one, but I just had to repurchase another one immediately because I love it that much. So Sam McKnight is a famous hairdresser, stylist. He's done shoots for Vogue covers. He's very well known in the industry. He's come out with his own products and I think there are four in the line. And I mean, they look gorgeous and they've got names like Cool Girl, lazy girl like the, the marketing it grabbed me i picked these up from cult beauty they're quite hard to come by in the uk it's like cult beauty and liberty i think um but i just absolutely love them like i said i got sent this one and i was like yes this is exactly what i've been looking for it's like your bay dry texturizing spray is really mattifying really drying then the igk is like a step down from that and then this is almost kind of like the igk but with a bit more hold it's almost got a hairspray property to it. I've got it in my hair today and it just gives me a bit of scrunch, a bit of volume and I love that. I still love IGK as well and I still love the Obey and I kind of, I like the idea of having all three to pick from which is ridiculous. I don't need all three. Um, but yeah, I feel like they all kind of do different things so it'd be hard to pick a favourite amongst them but that is definitely added to the ranks. And then Lazy Girl, this is their dry shampoo whereas this is just like volumising and texture. This is dry shampoo and I used this in the last video that I put up, the home renovation video. I hadn't washed my hair for like three days in that video and I still feel like it looked pretty all right. I don't feel like it looked too greasy or oily. And so yeah, this works and it gives hold and texture and like a bit of dryness to the hair. So would use this one if I hadn't washed my hair for a while. Has come in, these two, they have really saved me this month. <laughs> so onto some fashion favorites. And the first one are these. I did a whole post about these. They are my mango leather trousers, which I will link to below. If you want them, I suggest putting that link on your reading list. And then just like going back and checking because I get often um, Instagram direct messages to be like, Anna, they're back, there's a couple of pairs back. So they kind of keep coming in and out of stock. As I mentioned, I've done a post which has other um, recommendations in as well. So I'll make sure I link that down below for you. But I've just got so much wear out of them. And you'd think, you know, kinky looking leather trousers might not be the most worn thing of the month. But they sort of have for me because if I go to London, I just want to look like I don't want to wear denim. I just want to wear something a bit different. I've worn these, they just sort of elevate my look, that tiny little smidge. And then also if I've been going out for dinner, like it's been Mark's birthday this month, I've worn them then. I went to like a launch of a restaurant, oh my God, food blogging, who knew? Amazing, need to get in that world. Um, and I wore these, it's just a nice sort of event, evening, slightly dressier option. If like me, you're not crazy about dresses or skirts. So absolutely love them. And the mango ones are like half the price of any other leather trouser out there. And they're really good quality and they fit really nicely, so thumbs up. Now I didn't do a what I got for Christmas video just because I don't really watch them, they're not really my bag. Actually that's a lie, I did watch Lana so I did really like it. Um, but my family, we don't go crazy for Christmas. There is five of us if you include like Mark, me, my sister, our parents, and we kind of just did a Secret Santa the year before last. It went down really well and we do a 50 pound budget and we just pick names out of a hat and we just get a present for each other. And actually, it's so funny. We always get hysterical when we're opening the gifts because you slowly start to work out who had who. And I had my mum this year, which is great. My mum is so easy to buy for. When I got her, I was like, yes. 
um, and my dad had me for the second year running, which everyone in my family agrees that I am the worst person to have because I just, I, I obviously do what I do, so you can't get me like beauty products or anything like that. However, we all sat round in the circle and we said kind of what we wanted and I said, please can I have a pair of slippers? And my dad got me the best pair of slippers, like I couldn't have got better myself if I'd gone out and got them. They look a bit like mini little Ugg boots actually. It's like little fluffy fleecy fabric, fluffy inside. They're from the white company. Bless me, actually wrapped up the white company bag. <laughs> he was like, the bag's really nice. I thought you might like it. I was like, thanks dad. Um, but they have kept my feet so warm, so toasty. Obviously with the building work going on, I mean, they've got perhaps maybe a little dirty on the bottom, but it's just good not to wear your socks everywhere. Oh, I absolutely love them. I did look for them online and I couldn't find them. Um, but if I can find a link or just go into store, they were only bought like a month or so ago. Um, but yeah, over the moon. Thank you, Dad. Just, oh, yeah. And then my final favourite is a book recommendation. And I don't have it already because I've already passed it on to a mate. But it's by Celeste Ng. And I think it's called, oh, it's got it written down. Everything I Never Told You. Oh my word, what a book. I read it on honeymoon and it got to the point, we were kind of at the end of the honeymoon and we were just sort of chilling and I was reading the book. Got to the point where I think it was maybe like New Year's Day. I literally just read that book for like five, six hours. I couldn't get enough of it and I passed it on to my friend and she was like, wow, Anna, this book is incredible. Um, I have actually done a little book haul recently. They're all down here waiting for me to read and I picked up her new one, which I think is called little fires everywhere or something like that. So I can't wait to read that. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It's really, really interesting. It really grabs you. You get to the end of the chapter and you need to read the next chapter. It's about families and relationships and family history and about culture. It just was really eye-opening, completely loved it. I will have a book haul post coming soon actually on all those books that I picked up because I mentioned it on Instagram stories and people have been asking me for the list ever since. So I will do a blog post for you because yeah, I feel like I got some good books in that book haul. And actually, not, I wasn't, I didn't have this on the list, but I'm gonna throw it in whilst we're here. This West Elm nightstand has changed my life. I absolutely love it. Finding nightstands isn't the easiest thing because we don't have a lot of space, especially on Mark's side, um, because he needs to open up drawers. And so he only has kind of about, I think it's 60 centimeters these are. And it's really hard to find smaller nightstands. That's why we had the Ikea like yellow ones there, sort of as a placeholder, because we just couldn't find ones that were the right size and what we wanted. But these finally came, uh, ordered them ages ago. They finally came into stock and I am just over the moon with them. The drawer is really handy. You can fit stuff in the drawer. And then it's got this little like shelf underneath that you can put books on. Mark's nightstand is definitely, um, it's getting there. It's getting tidier, but it's just nice to have that bit of storage. So I'll make sure I link that down below for you as well. If, if like me, you haven't got a ton of space, but you want something that has storage in, they're great. But yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for just your feedback on videos since I've been back. I feel like I've been making videos that I'm just really passionate about and they're a little bit more chilled out than perhaps what I was putting up before, but I'm really enjoying it. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for all of your love on the renovations video. I cannot wait to do a part two and I will see you next week for that cult beauty space NK haul slash empties. So I'll see you then. Have a good week. Bye.